क्लास guys okay so that is the use or that is the having clause so let me repeat let me summarize what exactly the having clause is having clause is nothing but whenever you want to use the group by or aggregate function in the conditional clause or if you want to put the condition on the uh, aggregate functions then you have to use the having clause let's say for example if you want to give the one condition uh, count greater than 3 like that you want to give the uh, some condition then how you can give you can give it with the help of having clause you cannot use the where clause if you put the count greater than equal to 3 or uh, some max uh, or mean value greater than or less than 2 if you use in the where condition then it will give the error so whenever you want to use the aggregate function or group by function in the condition then you have to use the having clause so that is nothing but your having clause now let's understand the having clause with the help of one example let's say for example if i will ask you one question saying that boss give me those department in which the employee count is greater than 3 then how you can uh, do that you can do it that with the help of having clause so what you need to do you need to use first group by clause and then below that what you need to use you need to use the having clause so what do you need to write in the having clause having clause count greater than 3 then what it will do it will filter those groups which is having the count greater than 3 or it will give those department which is having the count greater than 3 so that is nothing but you are uh, having clause so i hope you have understood what exactly the having clause is now let's go for the practical part in that you will understand in detail what exactly the having clause is So guys just right now we have discussed the theory part of the having clause now it's time for the practice so let's begin but before that i would like to show you the content of the employee table on which i am going to use the having clause so let me show you the content of the employee table so as you can see over here this is the query i have used in order to show you the content of the employee table over here i have selected only one column which is department underscore id and these are the departments available in the oracle database or i can say that in the employee table in which it has around 107 rows okay so this is the content on which i am going to use the having clause now what is the first criteria of the using having clause so first criteria is you should have the group by clause so let me add the group by clause over here then only then i can use the having clause okay without the group by clause i cannot use the having clause so as you can see over here on the screen i have used the uh, group by clause so let me fire this command or fire this query and then later on we will use the having clause so as you can see over here this is the query and this is the result of the same okay over here you can notice under the department 100 it has the six rows or i can say that under the department 100 uh, employee table having the six employee okay now my requirement is such like that give me those department which is having the 
number of employee greater than three then how i can do it i can do it with the help of having clause so let me write the query for that so as you can see over here this is the query i have to write so what it will do it will filter out the group by values means it will look into this column and it will see what are the rows which is having the count greater than one or let me write over here three okay since we have taken the three count so this is the result you can see over here this gives the uh, those rows which is having the number of employee under particular department greater than three so this is how it works okay guys so guys uh, one more thing you have to take care of over here uh, the order of the clauses you have to be like that only first select clause then from clause and then group by clause and then where clause okay so this is one thing you have to take care now you can say that i can do same thing with the help of where clause as well so let me do that and let's me explain over here so i can add this condition over here in the where condition also so what is the use of the where condition uh, having clause so let me show you over here and let me comment out this one so what will happen let's see so it will give the error definitely because aggregate function we cannot use in the where clause so that's the reason we use the having clause okay guys so you understood what is the difference between the where clause where clause is used to filter out the rows okay and we having clause is used to filter out the group by values means whenever you have a any group by function and if you want to filter out based upon that then you have to use the having clause means let's say for example uh, you want to filter out based upon the count or based upon the average value or based upon the sum value or based upon the max mean like that if you want to compare this function then you have to use the having class okay guys so this is the thing you have to take care now over here i can use the where condition as well so let me use the where condition over here okay so let me add the where condition over here so let me comment out first the having class and then we will understand and then we will add the having clause okay so guys uh, after adding the where condition i got this result this we have already discussed our in previous session so i won't explain much in detail this how exactly it came now if i want to filter out this okay so uh, what i need to do i need to use the having class based upon the count so what i can do i can use having class over here so it will give the only one row okay so this is how the having clause work and one one more thing i would like to tell over here the order of the uh, clauses means over here you have to write the first select clause then you have to use the from clause and then you have to write the where clause and then you have to use the group by clause and then you have to use the having clause and if you have any order by clause then you have to write the after having clause so this is the one thing you have to take care and guys whenever you evaluate the output of any query then uh, keep in mind that first from clause will get executed then where clause will get executed and on top of that the group by clause will work and on group by clause having clause will work means what what happened first this query will get executed okay let me show you one, one, one second so this query will get executed okay first let me show you the output okay i'm sorry over here let me comment out this one okay so first it will execute on on this data the group by will work okay on this data group by work over here it will work okay and on this the uh, uh, having clause work but having for uh, having clause we have to use the aggregate function so we need to use over here aggregate function so this is how 
the uh, having clause and uh, group by clause and where condition execute so this is all about the having clause so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the uh, having clause is now let's go for the assignment So guys, I hope you have understood what exactly the having clause is and if it's still not clear then please let me know in the comment box because I am making the content on the my own understanding and my own assumption. I don't know what's your requirement, what's your understanding level. So please, please let me know your inputs, comments in the comment box so that I can create the more and more better videos. Okay guys, and don't forget to subscribe because whenever you subscribe me it give me motivation to create more and more good content for you guys so please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care